Okay, that was a little wrong. I was nominated for the Academy Award for this. I won it for a different movie. But that's okay. <laughs> so, I was asked to uh, tell you folks a little about what to watch for uh, in the movie. One of the things that I had a hand in, in structuring, and I don't know how many of you have seen it before, but there's a scene with uh, Beatrice Strait, who plays um, uh, Bill Holden's uh, wife. And as we were cutting the movie, which went very quickly because Sidney Levet doesn't shoot a lot of material, um, there came a point when Sidney and Patty Chayefsky and the producer said, you know, that scene is very slow and we should uh, remove it. And I said, this is the best scene of um, a middle-aged marriage, as it were. Uh, and we can't remove it. This is a great performance. And they said, uh, no, we want to remove it. So I did, um, I sort of stalled, because I knew our producer was going to be flying in at the end of the week, and I wanted him to see it where it was. But my suggestion had been to transpose two scenes. It was the only time in the movie that um, I did anything like that. We did shorten one scene, but in effect, it came out of Paddy Chayefsky's pen through the film process and went right onto the screen the way it was. So um, what happened was on Friday afternoon, we screened the movie, and I had been suggesting moving the scene where Max and Faye Dunaway go off to the beach and have this kind of very weird love scene. <laughs> and I had suggested moving that to after he's thrown out by his wife. It had been structured to go before. And I felt that because, um, because the performances were just so good, and what was happening was when he went off with Faye Dunaway, you could understand the passion, but you couldn't really understand how he could leave his wife if she came after that scene. And it seemed pretty simple to me. So we showed the film to the producer, and on Monday morning I got a call from Howard Godfrey, the producer, uh, the working producer of the film. And he sort of sang my name. He said, Alan, and you know, when somebody sings your name, they're gonna do something a little odd. And what he said was, Danny, that was our producer, Dan Melnick, the executive producer, Danny came up with this great idea. Uh, how about saying, and I did something I, I never did before, never did since. I said, you know, Howard, I've been asking you guys to do that for two weeks. And Howard said, look, does it matter where a good idea comes from? <laughs> and I felt so vindicated, and of course, uh, Faye, Faye won an Academy Award, and, uh, and so did uh, Beatrice Strait for her little part in the movie. So that is uh, my story about what you should watch for in this. <laughs> <laughs> there are also a couple of other places. Sydney shot great little film, and he used to, when I knew him uh, back in New York, he made three movies every two years, which is kind of amazing to think about. He had enormous energy. And um, one, of, uh, one of the things he did was shoot very, he, he rehearsed the actors very well, they knew their lines, and basically all I had to do was put those shots together. It wasn't quite that simple. But in the kitchen scene, when um, Bill Holden is breaking up with uh, Faye Dunaway. You might notice there's a couple of cuts to Faye in there. Neither one of them was actually scripted. And one I put in because it seemed I wanted to see her face at that point. And the other one I put in because Bill Holden had gone up on his lines in the middle of the take. <laughs> and um, I wanted to protect his performance, so I used two different takes there and went to her a second time. And all of it came out pretty well. So. Um, enjoy the film, and thank you uh, very much.